I'm Major Andrew Kelly. I'm the area commander for the Salvation Army of the greater Austin area, which includes Travis and Williamson counties. And uh, in that role, I oversee all of the services that the Salvation Army provides in the two county area. The mission of the Salvation Army is to meet human needs in the name of Jesus Christ without discrimination and also to share the love of Jesus, the gospel. Uh, we are a Christian organization and we make no ex excuses for that, but we don't force that on anybody. Nobody is required to listen to a sermon to get assistance or anything like that. But we, our objective really is to meet human needs in Christ's name without discrimination. There are literally thousands and thousands of people in the city of Austin that are homeless. Their children don't have a place to sleep at night, the same place every night that with a little bit of assistance are as motivated as anyone in the world to succeed. Um, and, and they do succeed when they're given the kind of services that the Salvation Army provides. The majority of the homeless folks that you meet, extremely nice people. They have challenges, they have problems that luckily you and I don't have. And if we do have them, we have a support system that helps us work through them so that we don't end up under a bridge. You know, the, these folks have nowhere else to be and that's why they sleep in dirt and on concrete every night. You know, and I, it just as a compassionate person, I feel for um, what they're going through, uh, especially the women. You see what they have here is their own tribe. Human beings are tribesmen by nature. Blake Washington, 55. I've uh, been down here about four years. Uh, not just right here, but here and farther on down Walnut Creek. Uh, try living in the arch, but uh, there's just too many people, and a lot of times they have too many, too many uh, 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 quarantines going on. You know? So I, I live better out here than than you do in there. You know, uh, well, believe it or not, because every time somebody new come in or something, they always got a, you know, something comes up. You know, bed bugs, scalp, all that stuff. You don't find a lot of that down here. You know, so. It's okay to go up there and, 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 and have a meal and shower, but uh, I just don't see me, see myself saying up there. I mean, I've tried to, I've, I've got my ID so far. I got a place to get hired at. I just need a place to stay so I can get a good night's sleep, so I can actually have a rest and shower for work. So I don't know, I just need a place to stay. I'm still currently looking for a job, but to make ends meet, I walk up and down 6th and Congress every night dressed as a clown, and I actually make animal balloons and try to make people laugh. My kids love it, at least. I am also an artist. Uh, I did the Comic Con thing for a little bit. I was a comic book artist, and then I lost a lot of material, so I kind of fell off of it, but here lately, being amongst the homeless and having this whole experience, I've actually started doing what I call real art. As you could see from the time you just spent, homelessness is an extremely complicated problem. For every hundred homeless people, there's a hundred different reasons why, and there's a hundred solutions that's gonna get them out of it. But even when they get out of it, they come right back to it a lot of times. It's, it's extremely hard to get somebody who's been chronically homeless for a number of years uh, with no support system, no family, uh, really lacking in skills to succeed on their own. You know, the average American, the average Texan, the average Austinite really thinks probably of homelessness a lot like I did before I got involved in the Salvation Army. And that is the occasional guy or girl on the street that asks for money and seems like they're maybe even happy in their circumstance, not really interested in home, you know, uh, housing. Um, that's probably a bad assumption, but it is so much not what really homelessness is all about. The, the thing that we see is, the thing that is the homeless problem in this town and in this state and in this country is hidden. It's what we refer to as the hidden Austin.